Hi. Do you mind if we ask you just a few questions while you run? We're just What's making that? a short film. Would you, would you stand that, that time Hi. a little bit faster? Hi. Hello. Um, so, why are you running today? Oh, because I've got a hangover and I couldn't make it to the gym. I didn't know why I was going over. I can't. Oh, really? I can't do it with being a film. Okay. Sorry. If I asked you, what, what's the most important thing that's happened to you? Ever? Yeah. The most important thing? Yeah. Oh, God. Are you in love? You cheeky boy. Have you ever been in love? <laughs> that's too personal. That's something that's not part of... I mean, where are you from, by the way? Who's... who's good question. Is this a joke or something? Yeah. It's not a joke. Everybody is born to move. And what do we do? We get on a bus, we get on a tube, we go to work, we sit down for eight to nine hours a day. You're not using the muscles, you're not using the heart very much. It's arguable as to how many people use their brain. <laughs> like a 2.45 marathon, which I think is achievable. What about the rest of your My life? life? Are you going to get married? This is a really controversial topic. I would like to have a best friend forever. So I think that can be marriage, maybe. <laughs> is it controversial because got someone in mind. Yeah, but they don't want to marry me. If I'm going to stay here for any amount of time more, well, it would be for a serious thing. Otherwise, I'll just like fuck off home and like be with my friends, you know? I mean, I have goals in life. The third law of thermodynamics says that everything gradually decays into chaos. So the, the initial starting point of the universe must have been very, very ordered and structured. I mean, I don't think for one minute this could have happened by chance. I believe it was planned very carefully by God. So, you know, evolution is it's a very big a leap of faith, much more than creation, I'd say. I spoke to my husband before coming to the park. Yeah. Do you remember what, what the conversation was about? Um, really? Uh, if you really want to know, it's about having sex. <laughs> we made a commitment to um, have sex more than once a week. <laughs> so, um, yeah, because I'm working away at the weeks. So, yeah, it's an effort at the moment. Um, I suppose I've always just sort of compared myself with a male companion and they've always wanted more sex than me. And I feel really guilty for being away during the week and not around enough. So, it's just just my way of sort of making an effort really. I was fastest over 20 mile in the UK at 55, 60 I was ranked about third. Get slower every year I'm afraid. What does that feel like to get slower? Terrible. <laughs> but again it's just another challenge.
I uh, had a bad period of mental health in my late 20s. It took me quite a long time to get over it, probably best part of 10 years. But no, I think I'd always had clinical depression, just never realised it. And uh, just got to a point where uh, and then you get so wrapped up in yourself that you fail to see sort of anything outside of your own issues, your own problems. And that circle gets smaller and smaller and smaller and so the ends you just can't really function. You know, and that's where the sort of I think what's called a nervous breakdown comes in. It's really painful. Actually, you know, I'm kind of a tiny bit teary just talking about it now because it's like a mentally painful thing to go through. I'm a science teacher, a secondary school teacher, actually. You see, I don't have my own children, so the children I work with, um, have, in a sense, more of me. <laughs> Would you like to have children? Is, that, is it, was it a purposeful decision? No, 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 it wasn't at all. It just didn't happen, you know, so, uh, and that was not easy, but uh, an easy decision. Not because it wasn't a decision, it wasn't an easy situation to live with at first. And I think, you know, I think my age probably dictates that I'm not going to have one <laughs> now. So, you know, that's how life is sometimes. Who's your favourite person in the world? It's got to be my dad. Why? Because it's because of him I'm here now, talking to you. At the moment, he's very ill, mate. Yeah? And, uh, just had a stroke. Just before the new year. And he suffers from dementia. That's why I'm running the marathon this year for dementia. I love him. It's the, it's the most important thing in my life, man. And he's not well. I wish you could understand everything. Because at the moment, he doesn't remember fuck all. And it breaks my heart. I think inequality is getting worse. Oh, I certainly recognise that society gives significant advantages to tall white male people, yeah. The way things are at the minute in the world, and the way you often feel like there's a hundred other people who'd be willing to take on your place in a second. It's where you make peace with your parents when you begin to balance yourself, I think. You can be as aggressive as you like, but there's always somebody bigger and better who won't have any problems stabbing you or something. Please. Don't try and make excuses for the fact you're feeling bad. Don't try and stop yourself feeling bad. Just accept that you are and uh, go and talk to somebody about it. Doesn't matter whether you're sweeping the roads or you're chairman of Lloyd's, you've got to be passionate about what you do. Passionate about running, even at an old age. That'll be my epitaph. How about that? Um, yeah, I'm really sorry, Andrew, confiding in total strangers about our sex life. <laughs> You're not supposed to look for signs. You're just supposed to let life happen. Bear in mind the past and the future, but don't ever let them rob you of the present, because that's all you've got. So what's your next question?